previously. Whew, so I'm going to return home, I'm going to put away as much of this stuff as possible and then I'm going to grab some grass seeds seed up that oh, there's nothing to be put away in those seed up the area Man, I'll put this stuff away manually, my god uh, seed up the area a little bit encourage that grass to grow off camera, I'll do those parity maps because they do need to be done. Uh, take this. I'm going to put that there, that there, that there, that there. Surely these should have gone to my excess chest. Did I not? Oh, there we go. And we'll try out these chests up here. What can we put away? Oh, off camera, uh, when I was changing worlds, I made some more cobalt bars. You know, we dug up a lot of cobalt ore. This hit 999 and I couldn't add any more to it, so I took a few out, turned them into cobalt bars, and I've got a bit more space up there now. So I haven't sort of cheated those in or anything like that. If I ever do cheat anything in, I will let you know, but I, the only thing I ever cheated in was the Drax. And that was mainly because of the speed issues. It was taking ages to dig things up, and it wasn't fun watching me with a copper pickaxe spend a half an hour to dig a small tunnel. So the Drax really did help out with that. I need to put away the lizard thing. Does it go in this one? It does. And we can put away the torches now. Shouldn't need those until off camera. Up there. Grass seed, that's what I need, isn't it? We can head up here. I think it's going to be in this one. Plink up, mungo, defweed, crook, mushroom. Jungle grass! We've got 46 of them. We'll take six. And we'll just go and very quickly spread them all over the area and hopefully that will encourage a lot of jungle grass to grow and then we get some plantar bulbs hopefully growing within the vicinity and that is really going to help us. Now I mentioned getting the axe, didn't I? I've forgotten where you get that from. It's either plantera or the golem. Either one we can defeat incredibly easily. Uh, Plantera, regular Plantera, not enraged Plantera, we can defeat without any kind of arena now. We just stand there and we annihilate them. And Golem, we have a setup down below, don't we? In which we can very easily um, kill the Golem without. We can AFK the Golem, in fact. Spread another one here. 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 Spread another one a bit higher up somewhere. There. There we go. That's six little patches of jungle stuff. Jungle grass, that should spread through. Should maybe do one a bit closer up here, actually. That should look good. This should all work out nicely. How's this look on the map? Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now, this area we changed, and we changed on camera, didn't we? How this looks down here. And we sorted out these... Um, teleporters to be more efficient and the room that we teleport down into is much smaller much more confined compact and can we reach by simply standing no we can't flying up the I think we just don't hit the enemies up there this might actually be the best for a pumpkin moon if we stand down here and do this to quickly wipe out the beginning waves and then once the pumpkin and the morning wood arrive, we can warp like this and get them from up here, can't we? That might actually be a much better strategy. Because up here, I really don't think I can reach the floor. How far is that? Look, that only reaches here. And we are even higher up here. So we flicking down, we only get the ones that jump. And really, we need to wipe out these beginning enemies of the pumpkin moon a lot quicker. Because they are where sort of one or two points and once you get for the beginning rounds you get the pumpkins and the morning woods coming quicker and once they're here we can wipe out them quicker yeah this is actually a much better strategy we just need to make sure we warp back up here before a morning wood arrives because the morning woods I think teleport with you which is the issue I was having before it's 
if I stand here, grip up like this, just shoot up, we can obliterate a lot of stuff, especially with the I-Core. Quickly drop, warp, and we get stuff down here. Genius, absolute genius. I am, yes. Two to my own horn there. Right, let's warp them. Put away the very, very few things we have, and I will check what it is I want to do today. Because, to be honest, all I had planned was that stuff. And that was mainly um, just as a test to see if my voice could hold up to the uh, rigors of this evening. So let's quickly look. I'll leave this on so the night disappears. On my sticking up objective list, we have Fight Okram, which I don't think we have any Okram. Do we have any mechanical eyes? Or suspicious looking, uh, suspicious looking skulls, is it? I forget. I don't think I have any adamantite either. No, we don't have any adam any adamantite, so we are going to have to do at some point what I say, which is go to I don't want to check the map. Go to one of the other worlds we have and convert that into having adamantite and dig that up. We have fight the pumpkin king on morning wood for trophies, which again can't do it. It's middle of the night. We we'll have to do it another time. Uh, get the axe, which I can't remember where to get it from. Get the Uzi, which is you know what are the odds. Build the trophy room, which is going to be a let's build after I finish recording. Build, uh, defeat the dungeon guardian again. Can't really do that. Attempt to get another moonstone, which is from the solar eclipse, and then that's the super secret thing which I'm going to hold off on doing. So I guess let us go and finish putting away the stuff that I didn't put away, and we're going to go and try to convert another world into having adamantite which is going to have to be a little bit cheeky I hate to have to say this but it's the same way we did this before and that because it's random which one you get we're going to have to try and uh, force it to give us adamantite now which world I think one of these worlds we already beat the wall of flesh on haven't we have we I don't know. This one? Let's have a look. I don't see any... Is it not snow? It's not hollow. I don't see any way down into hell. So it's not this world. So we'll leave. Let's try Crimtonia. It's, I think... No, we did it in um, Crimson Land or whatever it was. But then it prevented us from getting it. So I deleted that world and made Crimtonia, didn't I? Which is, you can see here, I built a strategy for quickly getting, uh, whatever it is, vertebrae. So I have, I don't have a world with a dungeon. I dug up all the blue brick, didn't I? Yeah, we don't have a world. Right, okay, so, wow, uh, it's not going to take so, too long, so I don't need a fast forward, but we are definitely going to need a musical interlude as I build a elevator down and then sacrifice guide to fight the wall of flesh and then convert the world into whatever it is uh, and then smash the orbs forcing adamantite to spawn of course we do need to go back to our main world to grab a voodoo doll which I believe I store in here. Yeah, four of them in there. I think I put some others some elsewhere. Oh, I took my pants off. It was a complete accident, I swear. Let's put those pale wood pants back on the statue. I think I did. There we go, because I was sick of them filling up the, the chest. Boom. So save and exit back to Crimtonia. And we're going to convert it to cor uh, Corruption and Hallow. Or Crimson and Hallow. I've never defeated the World of Flesh in a Crimson World. Have I? I, yeah, I know I have. I just don't remember what it's like. We're going to spread the Crimson everywhere. We need to find a good place to dig down. Uh, let us... I would dig here, but he's... Brandon is in there with us. So we don't want to drop him into hell. So let's say... Here. And we'll dig for this lovely clear area. 
and I've just found a mushroom. Oops, there's something to go back to. A teal mushroom, another one of the super rare things. Cool. I also just descended for what appears to be the biggest freaking spider area I've ever seen in my life. Right, let's uh, continue down. Ooh, ship. I always have to check the ships. Right, that is a slime statue or a bomb statue, is that? Bomb statue. Useful, but not really. And then we have a chest with some stuff that I'm going to take. Because why not? So there's two gold coins. Thank you very much. Take your potions. No, I have so many potions. Uh, do we have that painting? I don't know. Let's take it. It looks like the mechanic in the Goblin Tinkerer. Is that a picture of the mechanic and the Goblin Tinkerer? Terrarian Guppy. I like that, that's pretty cool. I want to be uh, in a digging position here. Oh! Right, we need to be careful not to get trapped under the lava. Under the obsidian. These are one of the things I really like about having the uh, werewolf charm or the moon charm, whatever it is, so that I can turn into the merman and not worry about drowning while mining. Right, we're in hell anyway, so that's one good thing. Ah, no, no. Ah, I couldn't get out because I was a merman. I, c I was just, I was just there uh, swimming rather than flying. I don't know why, but I always like collecting health forges. Tino can go. Don't need that. Right, well, I think this is it. It's not going to take us a massive amount of time to kill this uh, wall of flesh. So let us just, in fact, what is this? It looks like a little cauldron. No, it's nothing. Is that a battle potion there? If it is, I'm taking it. Yeah, I like that. Right, uh, save, just in case this doesn't work, the wall of flesh is very glitchy, and boop! Wall of flesh has awoken apparently. Waiting to see, I guess it's coming up here. No, there it is! Oh, do need to sort of aim in the right direction would help. Uh, there we go, right. At least I'm still something solid so I can actually sort of continually Continually pound this guy's eyeball into oblivion. Not the quickest I've ever done that. Uh, but we did it, at least. And give me all of this. Ugh. Go away, whoever you are. And you, Archdemon. I want some of this treasure. Get rid of that. Sorcerer emblem is nice. Did I get the hammer? I don't see it. Did not drop it? Uh, the pawn hammer. I'm not seeing it anywhere, which is weird. It's it's a guaranteed drop. That's bizarre. That is very bizarre. I would be if this is the first time I killed the wall of flesh. I would be so annoyed because it didn't drop. Get out of it, you scumbags! Some little investigate around here. I'm still in the lava. Probably not for the best. Right, up to the surface we go, and we can see that the crimson has spread quite significantly. But now we need to go to the dungeon, which is, uh, I'm, sh I'm assuming it's over in this direction, because this is where this pattern goes. The map, yes. No, we don't want the dungeon. What do we want? We want to smash... What do we smash? Crimson altars in the crimson area, it's right here. Man, I'm going crazy. Right, so let's throw away some stuff real quick. We don't mud. Keep iron. Tungsten can get out of it. Silt can go. That gives us a bit of space at least to... Yeah. Now I can see what I'm doing. Let's get this on. 
and head over here. Not quite here, but a little bit further across. Now we dug out this area quite well, as I mentioned before, because of the whole... No, this is my health meter. Because of the whole trying to get stuff from it. Uh, but we don't need this area anymore, because we have our own crimson area in our main world. We'll never really need crimson ever again. <laughs> 